Okay, this arrived today and as you can see this has been taped again because this had been damaged a little bit, a little bit dinked up here. And uh, this is a model that I already own and this is just another colorway. Let's take a look inside. And yes, I know this is a little bit, a little bit of an obscure pickup. Probably one or the other one of you is not gonna like them. But I kid you not. I'm sure that one or the other one of you guys is going to get something, well not exactly this one, but something similar this fall or winter. And uh, like I said, I already own a pair of these, just a different color. And it is Nike. Terry Humara and the photo blue colorway. Get the other one out as well. And I really do like them, yes, and let me explain why. So this is just gonna be half a review for the Nike Air Terry Humora White Photo Blue because upon trying them I noticed that it fits quite a bit smaller than the model that I already own even though they are the same size and I bought these in I think February or so of this year so end of season got them in a sale and I haven't worn them since I thought getting the White Photo Blue one would have been the perfect time to review this shoe in general and also the style of shoe because this is an all terrain sneaker and if you have been observing your social media channels closely you might have noticed that a lot of brands are pushing this kind of sneaker this season it is uh, Nike of course with the ACG line and also the Air Terry Humara which of course is heavily inspired by the ACG line because I think the designer of this shoe is from the ACG team. Then you have Salomon, a traditional ski brand that is trying to push their all terrain sneakers. Then you have ASICS, I think, releasing uh, one of the sneakers with an all terrain outsole. Also the Cayano 5360 with a Gore-Tex upper. Then you have, I think, Adidas and a number of other ones. New Balance as well. New Balance, I think, already has released three different models from the all terrain section and in different colorways as well. So I kid you not, I think this season one or the other one of you guys is going to pick up an all terrain sneaker because of course it makes sense outside um, if the weather is bad, not to wear your best sneakers, but to wear something like this. And this will get me also into, well, a little bit closer review of this one. Of course, the materials are nothing to write home about, but the choice of materials really make perfectly sense because this is an all synthetic upper here. You have uh, a very rugged nylon here on the toe box and on the, well, middle and heel section of the shoe. Of course, you have a very grippy trap pattern here on the outsole, which is perfect for rain, sludge, mud, snow, and leaves, which you can find all over the place in this season. And uh, this, of course, all makes sense so you can clean it easily. And if you had a real nice suede on these, these would be looking pretty bad pretty quickly. The name Tarahumara got inspired by the Tarahumara and North Mexican Triad, which is known for the long running distance skill. And the design got inspired by all terrain motorcycles, because if you look at the lacing section here on these little, well, ribs, I think, these do remind me a lot of motorcycle spokes. And uh, even though this is a very quirky and unusual design, I really, really like this. And I think it also looks better on foot than in hands. Um, this shoe is far more comfortable than you might imagine. It is also far lighter than you might imagine. It's Even though its design is very clunky and bulky, it is very, very light. And I was surprised how light this one is. And like I said, these are very comfortable because these have an air unit here in the heel. And I think this is a PU section just on the outside put around it. Of course this shoe is going to 
divide continents and probably countries because these are a lot more popular over in the US and in Japan. I myself got inspired by Instagram photos from Japan actually where you can see a lot of people rocking these. This of course is a 90s hip hop staple and I think this is not so popular over here in Europe and especially not in Germany. Probably a lot of Germans think that this is ugly. Probably mainly so by people who have nothing to do with hip hop. Anyways, I do like these quite a bit. Fit. How do you fit these? I think you should steer away from skinny or slim pants. I think you should wear these with some loose fitting or white fitting pants, some baggy pants, because these are a 90s hip hop staple. This is just the way that these should be styled. So you can either crop your pants up or you can pin roll them or you can put them into your sock. But I would steer away from slim or tight fitting pants because they're gonna be looking really, really bulky. So, um, Cannot wait to throw these on feet, so stay tuned for the on feet section coming up right now, and I will see you in a minute. That's it for today with the Nike Air Terra Yumara 18. Let me know what you think about this sneaker or about this sneaker trend down in the comment section. Real curious on what you have to say. Do you think it's really a trend? Is it going to replace the dead shoe trend? Let me know, curious on what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I'm gonna see you next time again. So thanks for watching until then. Bye bye.